Hey everybody, it's Nathaniel Avila, and I'm here with Clara. The Clara. Clara and, Avila. Yeah, and then we are also here with the cat. Yep, Ghost is here. That's right. Hello, cat. You know her name. Why isn't the cat answering? Because she can't talk. Oh yeah, because she's a cat. So anyway, we're talking about buttholes. What's your favorite butthole, Clara? I'm not responding to that question. Okay, you ready for the first one? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, top ten buttholes, go. No. <laughs> okay, um, Ita for telling my dad there will be no making up for my missing for missing my high school graduation. Oh boy. So okay, this is gonna be good. Absolutely. Let's hear it. I am 18, male, graduating high school at the end of the month. My dad dropped the bomb on me two nights ago that his stepdaughter, 14 female, has an award ceremony for some competition she entered and won in another state on that same day. Mm. And that she really wants him to be there. He told me he couldn't possibly make it to both since his wife and their children together will be going. He needs to be there too. He told me he would make it up to me and we could celebrate another time. I still live with him. Not much longer. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. You'll be back. You'll be back. Time will tell. Mm -hmm. Something, 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 something well. I don't... You'll be back. Soon you'll see. You'll... Remember you belong to me. Okay, let's keep going. My mom died when I was seven. Mm. And my dad got married again when I was 11 or 12. It's been a few years anyway. His stepdaughter never knew her bio dad. So my dad was accepted, accepted her as his own. And he has prioritized her a lot in the last five to six years. Mm. It doesn't always show in the most obvious ways, but it can be felt. Father's son time was put on an indefinite hiatus, and instead dad told me he needed to include her in our time together, but he also spent time with just her for father-daughter time. I brought it up to my dad, and he told me I wasn't exactly making an effort to be closer to her, so he he wanted us all to bond and didn't want me to just focus on my relationship with him. Wow. He attended her dance things instead of my basketball games if they were on the same if they were on at the same time. It doesn't matter if mine was known about first, he would all still skip my stuff and go to hers. He will take us on family days and whenever he and his wife say kids can choose, he picks her choices over mine. He claims it's because they will be the most fun for everyone, but really he even says it afterwards including his Afterwards, anything his little princess wants. Mm -hmm. Our refrigerator and our shower broke at the same time. His stepdaughter's birthday was coming up, so he took money from my birthday fund to pay for that stuff. So his stepdaughter would definitely get what she wanted. This Barbie house thing and a whole fashion set that I think they were, I think dad said, 250 bucks. He didn't get all the money back by the time my birthday came around, so instead he bought me a $30 gift card for Steam. Uh, when he promised me a new monitor and keyboard for my computer that was a gift from my grandparents So my dad told me he wouldn't be at my graduation to go and support her I told him there's no making up for that and he can forget about being included in my life going forward He told me he would make it up for me and I told him I will always come second to his little princess And I'm not going to be okay with that Dad told him he discarded I told him that he's discarded me for the last time, Dag begged me to be reasonable, but I walked away. Then I invited both sets of grandparents who agreed, who agreed to come. His wife told me I could have come with them, and I don't need to attend my, the ceremony, but could support, quote-unquote, my sister. I said her daughter, her daughter's not my sister, and I do not want to support their family anymore, and I will be out of their hair soon. She called me selfish and told me I can't deny her daughter a dad. Ita. Wow. Ugh. That sounds like a complicated family situation. Mm hmm. So is he the butthole? Uh, what do you think? I don't think he's the butthole. I don't think so either. No. 
I can understand why he's upset because it seems like his dad never wanted to do anything he wants. And apparently, after his stepsister kind of came into the biz- and came into the picture, he became like second fiddle, and you can only yeah. be second fiddle for so long. Yeah. And I think he finally had enough because. You only graduate high school once, Clara. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's an important milestone. Mm-hmm. And since his <laughs> since his um uh, his uh, stepmom and is gonna be at the award ceremony for his stepsister, I don't know why he can't his his dad can't just go to this graduation and right? and everyone else to go to the go to the award ceremony thing right was it an award ceremony or was it a competition I, I don't remember uh but i i think you could only handle so much since he's so 18 much rejection yeah so nata this is what Nita. the people right read it have to say let's hear it graduating high school is a big milestone it's credible your dad wants to be there for his stepdaughter he needs to maintain balance though and i feel like you should have made time for a once in a lifetime thing for you. Mm-hmm. I do hope you still enjoy your day. Many congratulations. Edit spelling. Ha ha ha. Um So yeah, um uh I do think there is like very little balance in this relationship. Mm-hmm. Cuz I mean, like I don't know why he likes his stepdaughter more than his actual biological son. It yeah. seems like like, I can understand why he wants to be in his stepdaughter's life and be a father mm-hmm. to her, but also at the same time, you have, like, an actual son who has your DNA and everything. And, I mean, you could at least, I don't know, have <laughs> have some father-son time with, with him instead of just straight up not doing that. Yeah. So, let's see what else we got. <coughs> Wow, what a horrible way to keep showing you you don't matter to them. <laughs> totally Nata. Congrats, congrats, congrats on the freedom that awaits you. I'm impressed by your clarity and thinking of thinking. Took me much longer to get to that level of understanding. If not done already, get your plan started or refined further. The shame they are hiding may cause some additional grief and manipulation. You got this. Good luck. Life is very sweet without constant disappointment. Um, blah, 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 blah. And massive Nata. Besides the fact that that's his stepdaughter, high school graduation trumps essentially all childhood activities in priority of attendance by parents. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. That kind of stinks. Um, not the butthole. Moving on. Moving on. Ita, for making my parents replace my t- quote unquote toys. But they decided to give away. Okay, let's see what these are. I'm moving to another city for work. Since I'm an adult and not a college kid, I hired movers. My parents insisted on coming down to help me pack up. I live in their basement suite. It was cheap and they let me have my privacy. I They brought my brother and my nephew, the four of them, were as helpful as a bag of used horse condoms. <laughs> Especially my nephew. My parents decided to let him uh, keep decided to keep him busy by giving him one of my Lego sets to play with. I collect them, but I usually do is buy two of the same one. I build one, put it up for display, and leave the other one in the box to trade or sell. He took it upstairs to stay out of the way. But then he took it home. All I noticed is that he was out from underfoot. The next day, I saw the box in the garbage. I didn't assume. I knew the answer already, but I didn't assume. I went upstairs to talk to them. I asked where the Lego box came from. They said they gave it to Travis to keep him busy. I told them they needed to replace it. They said I was being childish for caring so much about a toy. I said they could replace it or I would file an insurance claim that would probably require a police report. Oh my gosh. My dad got angry. He pulled out $70, told me I was a butthole for making a fuss over a toy. I asked him if if that was a down payment. He said that is what he spent on the last Lego gift he got me for Christmas. And that is 
what those helmets cost. I showed him the box, told him to keep his money. He just had to give me a sealed box like the one he stole. He said he didn't steal anything. He took the box and went to the Lego store nearby. When he came back, he was apologetic. He said he would get it back from my nephew. He said he wanted a sealed box. I No, I said I wanted a sealed box with a TIE Fighter helmet. I even went on eBay to help him find one cheaper than he had found by himself at the collectible store. The guy at the Lego store sent him to. With shipping, it would be only $300. He ordered it. He wasn't happy about it. My mom was upset that I'm expecting that much money for a toy. My dad is upset that I didn't explain before he went and made a fool of himself at the store. I'm upset that they stole from me. Ita. Um, collectors are so interesting to me. Why? Oh, gosh. I don't know. It's like... Yeah, like, they're, they're toys for, like, kids, but, like, they collect them mm -hmm. to, to sell and trade and... I don't know. It's interesting. How is that interesting, Clara? Well, I, I don't know. I, I, I do think he's not the butthole. I do think... I, I know that stuff is expensive. It can get expensive. Yeah, I think for... Yeah, because in his mind, these are very valuable things. These aren't... And... In, in his mind, these aren't toys. Yes. Yeah. They're things to, like, trade and sell and... Well, he obviously, because he has insurance on them. Yeah. Apparently, because he can Apparently, file a he can file a he's claim. Got insurance for, on them. Yeah, he has insurance on them, and and, and uh, his uh, I can't a hundred percent blame his parents for not a hundred percent knowing that yeah. these things are incredibly valuable. Valuable. Yeah, incredibly valuable, and it needs to be sealed in the box so it can yeah. be super duper valuable. Like so, if, it can continue to be valuable. Yeah. Like, we have a completely sealed VHS copy of the Green Mile over there. I can see it right, right there. It is completely sealed of the Green Mile, which is a classic film from the 90s. Mm -hmm. And I think that can go for a couple hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, so, there's, um, there are things that are, are very, uh are very uh, uh, expensive and their parents I also kind of don't really I do think their parents were kind of being a little bit a little bit uncool by saying well they're just toys you're an adult you don't need these toys <laughs> and then though I do think that the dad finally got the picture when he went to the store went to the store and was like was like, and then he realized like these things are worth like a couple hundred bucks. Like these things are like five hundred, six hundred dollars. Um, and yeah, I mean, I still have my my Billie Eilish doll from from her yeah from her uh, what is it? Don't smile at me era, and it's sealed in box. So I don't know how much those that goes for, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty valuable now yeah it could be i don't remember how much i paid for it and i don't think he's the butthole i think i think it was like you need to need to do that and i think you got you got to do what you need to do to, so you can get your you get your get your money's worth mm -hmm. so nata your parents are judgmental and inconsiderate they literally stole something of yours and gave it to your nephew without asking you first when you ask them about it, they belittled you for even having it in the first place. They don't even think they needed to replace a stolen uh, stolen item and probably wouldn't even told you about it if you hadn't asked. Their opinion of whether Lego products are for kids is irrelevant because the fact is is that they are a collectible item yep. and people pay a lot of money for. Yep, yep. All of it could have been avoided if you had just asked you first or even better, if they bothered to have things in their home to entertain their grandson. In the first place, instead of just taking your stuff. They probably hoped that once you had so many boxes of Lego sets, you could never notice it was missing. Edit, grandson, not nephew. Oops. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of things that people would find childish that 
Yeah. Or actually has I mean, a huge market for there's, him. There's, there's, there is. I feel like, especially with Legos, there's a difference between a, a Lego set for a kid and a Lego set for a collector. The, the, there, I know that Lego has been has marketed to adults before. Yes, like they like they have marketing campaigns for like Lego for adults. Yeah, um, and because there are like actual like adults who actually like build these very elaborate Lego sets as like. A, like a hobby that they do in their pastime as to just like to as like a thing that they like to do as a, a, in their off hours and to like well they do it for to to relax and it's and i think like writing off that lego is just like a toy for children i think that's a kind of a bit short-sighted because lego has a huge like adult community and mm-hmm. another thing is that um like uh like another th- big ones are like pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards there's like an entire coll- <laughs> there's an entire oh, yeah. community of people who just dedicate their lives to collecting and trading these things oh yeah and like people would drop like thousands, thousands. of dollars on a, on cards for for uh if they're like in cream condition yeah, like, and there's a completely like there's a rating system mm-hmm. that like there's like a like an organization that does like rating systems and stuff let me look up um how much a charizard card goes for charizard pokemon card mint condition mint 10 okay so Okay, I found a Pokemon, a 1999 Pokemon base set, Charizard, 1999 base game, first edition, and it is rated uh, a mint 10, which is the absolute highest it could be. Mm -hmm. And what's the price? By the GEM, and the price is a quarter million dollars. A quarter million dollars. Quarter million dollars. Yep. Um, Here's another one. That is, I don't know what the rating is, but this one is going for 3000 So it might be like an 8 or a 9. But yeah, they, they, there's a lot. Here's another one that is an eBay Mint 9 for $30,000. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> I do kind of find it funny that this guy, OP, was like $70.00. <laughs> He's like, what that's do you cute. think this is, this is gonna get me? I, th- I like how he was like, huh, that's that's cute. Is that a down payment? Is this a down payment? <laughs> is, that a, is that a down payment? And so yeah, definitely not the butthole. Nope. Um, let's 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 move on. Uh, I used to have I I used to have. Um, the Egyptian god cards and the five pieces of Exodia and it was framed. I don't yeah. know what happened to them. I don't know either. They were in mint condition. They were actually really no, they poor were conditioning. No, they were very beat up. They were very used. poor, very poor condition. But um, I can definitely uh, let me see if I can. I would. I wouldn't mind getting them again. And let me let me look up how much an Egyptian god card, like just like a regular standard one, doesn't yeah. have to be like super good condition. Egyptian god cards i wouldn't mind getting them again and like reframing them um oh i can just get i can just get them for like 10 bucks on walmart nice just get them from 10 bucks on walmart they don't need to be like super exclusive collector's items i just want to you just want to have them again i just want to have them again so um yeah that that, there's that um let's move on uh Male self improvement and horrible female behavior slash women in general what? is a vicious cycle that only serves to benefit women. Okay. Parentheses mostly. Okay. Okay. So let's see. I just had this terrible thought today. Please share. I'm gonna. I'm. This is me asking. Please yeah, share. Please me what, share. What Tell this. us your thoughts. Manosphere, red pill, MGTOW, men's rights, etc., etc., all encourage men to improve, improve, improve. If you want to attract a quality girl, you have to be desirable, fit, put together man, etc., etc. Mm-hmm. As female behavior trends 
ever more downward, the pool of desirable females shrink, oh my God. shrinks ever more. The shrinking pool of desirable females means male competition becomes more fierce and the male arms race intensifies. Average Johnny used to be good enough, but then it became 666. What? Oh, yeah. The, the three sixes. A, a six inch wiener, oh. six figure salary, and a six foot height. That nonsense. <laughs> the joke is, is that it will soon be 777. Basically, as women get more and more awful and reprehensible, what? men respond by trying to be better and better what? to compete for a few remaining desirable ones. What? Since male horniness is stronger than any force in the universe, what? when these improved men can find a quote-unquote good girl, they settle for one of the 95% bad, undesirable girls. Huh? Example. <coughs> a client Example? of mine... A client of mine, about 45, in phenomenal shape, six foot two, as well, makes well into the six figs, has a wife mid thirties, that he talks mad poop about how she is a how he is a slob, can't do anything, is lost without her, and she does whatever she wants regardless of what he says. He literally said to me, he thinks he could tell me what to do, but I do whatever I want. The kicker is this girl is a rock solid five, and plays with dogs all day. What the. F- Another example, another client, about 38, 6 foot 1, not in the greatest shape, but otherwise very solid, upstanding dude. Oh, did I mention his family is one of the most powerful slash wealthy slash influential in my state? This uh, mother effer is about to marry a 30-year-old single mother of two. It sounds completely contradictory, but it makes sense. The more awful women become, the more it incentive, uh, incentives. Wait, wh- how, how does so, that make her awful? I don't know. More incentive incentivizes men to improve in order to compete for the dwindling number of desirable girls. When the improved men can't find a desirable girl, the undesirable girl now ha- get to have men they would otherwise not stand a chance at having. And so the d- undesirable women are rewarded for being awful and the cycle spirals downward. What the heck in the world is this? This guy sure hates women. This guy sure hates women. So yeah, it's it's this it's it's this like this uh this like like dumb like alpha podcast mentality that women only want like like uh rich dudes with with six pack abs big and old meaners. <laughs> and um and then it's like, oh, these women are like, if I don't, these women are so picky and they, 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 they hate everyone. And you have to be this, this epitome of society. But men are awesome. Oh my god. And they continue to improve. And they, they, these alpha male podcasts are not toxic at all. They're actually helping us by pr- and helping us improve by telling us that we, uh, we stink. Uh, as we are, we are slobs, and we need to be, be, be better by. By being someone we're not. And so, yeah, like, I don't think that's true, like, at all. Like, no. All that is a bunch of baloney. And I think this guy is definitely, like, this guy definitely needs some, like, looking in the mirror. Like, definitely a lot of reflection. And, and I, th- I think this guy didn't manage to get with whatever girl he was interested in. And now he hates now everything. he hates women. I think he needs to get out of that rut. Yeah. He needs to pull himself out. Think about it. It's not women. It is you, dude. It is you. It is and you need to improve. You. Not in the superficial way. Not improve. the superficial not way. Not the... <laughs> Not every woman is looking for some hot, rich man. Who plays like center for the Knicks. Who play, yeah. That's <laughs> Who's like not, six foot seven. There, the, you, the internet is lying to you half of the time. I know that there's like a lot of people out there that are promoting these different kinds of lifestyles. But it's like that's the internet. And that's like a few couple of people in a world full of millions, mm-hmm. you know, that's just some some of these things that they're showing you. That's just not an attainable, sustainable life. Yes, you know. I do think this guy's the butthole. 
Yeah, I because think so he, as well. Because he absolutely despises women, even though he probably shouldn't be. Saying some really choice things. Mm-hmm. And also kind of like straight up insulting like these people and, and who like are like having feeding, children. Feeding into the whole red pill, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Ridiculousness. <laughs> Meninist. Meninist. Whatever ridiculousness by like agreeing that this is what women want, you know? Mm-hmm. And like that, oh, the poor men who have to uh, settle for fives and women with children. And you, women with yeah, Ew, children. Disgusting. That's gross. Like, how dare you, you Ooh. know? Okay. Like, I'm <laughs> sure that this person who is marrying this woman with children adores her and her children. Because what, what? You know? Yeah. You know, Clara, like what? on the other side of it, I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, in, a, in an interview, it wasn't that long ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, Billy did say, oh, okay, he yes. said something to along to this effect, but it's like kind of opposite mm-hmm. by saying how men constantly judge women's a physical appearance, but women would never judge a man's physical appearance. Oh, <laughs> it would never because they are because they are nice. And I have to say, Billy, I love you to death. Uh, but I think you're kind of misinformed. That's definitely not true. Yeah. And I'm like, I know you you were homeschooled and you don't know how <laughs> women can be the know, most meanest people on earth. You don't know earth. certain things, and maybe. I, like in high school and in, 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 in middle school, women can be like the most mean pe- group of people you've ever met. Yeah, well, and, you know. And like, like... Everybody has the capacity to be mean. Yeah. And I do believe that, like, women are, like, do pass judgment on both men and women based on their physic, physical appearance. Yeah, but, I mean, men do that, too, mm-hmm. as well. What I'm saying is, is that it's not mutually exclusive. It's not mutually exclusive, exactly. But this guy is the butthole, though. Yes. Let's see. Let's see who it is. I don't think Bill is the butthole, though. No, I know. Not but that. this guy is the butthole. Okay, it's a pro- this is what the people already have to say. It's a problem of sexual discipline. Bring that back in men, and this problem evaporates within five years. And then another person responds with, Dudes will F a worm jar of peanut butter, and women know this. So why bother not being unpleasant slobs? And another person responds with, yeah, exactly the problem is porn being drilled into us at a very young age and just just activates a primal urge. Us men have to be better than that. Go back to our old traditional roots. Okay, these guys are weird. What in the world are they saying? (laughs) This guy is so weird. Um... Another person says, the great equalizer, passport, passport broing. Men can find better women overseas and better laws. Just don't be naive. What? Outside the West and move with knowledge of female nature wherever you go. Okay. And another person says, at the end of the day, it's all about accountability. We can, can wait on Western women to be accountable, lol, or simply accountable themselves and have some discretion and discretion and discipline. And another person, and then OP responds with, absolutely right. We can't do anything about them. Only ourselves. Ah, yeah. What in the world? Yeah, I think this guy is kind of not cool. Um, Reddit, you really let me down on this one. Yeah. um, Let's see. Okay. Okay, here's one more. That Here's another group of, of comments that I think they're actually better okay let's see another per- one person responds with no oh goodness no oh no not a single mother of two good <laughs> goodness anything but that and then another person says that post comment section is a cesspool i would have to agree yeah and then another person responds with why do they keep trying to date quote unquote females if they hate them so much <laughs> honestly <laughs> for real okay let, let's let's move on I tell for putting peppers in my girlfriend's food to get her used to spice. <laughs> okay. 
Let's hear it. Okay. My girlfriend is 23. I'm 25. I'm a huge spice guy. I love the feeling of uh, seek out hot foods. I eat a lot of Thai, Korean, and Indian food just for the spice. Some Latin things, too. My girlfriend hates this, so we don't really eat together. She doesn't even like the smell, so she's always eating in the other room. Before, we used to eat at the table together, but she'd scarf hers down, then leave. It always hurt my feelings. She's asked me to not eat such hot foods around her, but I don't know how I'm supposed to do that, question mark. What? It's Just literally. Don't. I'm confused. It's well, literally eat, almost all I eat. I drink normal things, but that's not food. I don't really like normal foods. A few days ago, okay. I thought I'd just get her used to spicy foods. I've talked to her about it, but she didn't really want to try. But my girlfriend has always been the type to say no, but actually want to do something because she's shy. Uh, She just needs a little push in 98% of situations. So I just took it upon myself. I started to sprinkle tiny bits of pepper or hot sauce in her food and watched her eat it just to start. She didn't really seem to notice or mind, so I thought it was in the clear. More of this, putting spice in her food, and it's going great. She drank more during her meals, but that happens when you learn to eat spice. The other day, I convinced her to eat ramen with me. She doesn't eat my ramen because it's too hot, but I said I'd make hers after mine. She said, okay, and I would I did what I needed to do. I made hers and put spice in. She immediately didn't like it. She started coughing and spit it out. I barely even put anything. She started yelling at me, and honestly, I got <laughs> kind of peeved off. I was trying, just trying to help. She was at the sink, rinsing her mouth out, over-exaggerating. We ended up arguing, and she called her sister and is staying with her parents. I got a bunch of angry texts later from her sister and my mom, but I don't think I was wrong. I didn't expect her to not be able to handle the smallest bit I put in. I just want her to eat meals with me and not complain when I cook in the kitchen. It hurts my feelings that she won't even try. In my opinion, she's over-exaggerating. It isn't even bad. I texted a friend of mine about it when I calmed down a bit. He said I'm all good. He ne- he agreed that I was just trying to help her out. You can't go your entire life not eating spicy foods. Most of the world has spicy foods. She just wants to argue with for no reason. Ita. I think you might need to break up. What? How dare you? Because if she's not even able to eat with you, that's a big issue. Mm-hmm. And she also like she also hates, uh, she yeah, eating hates, the fruit. Hates her, hates the spice. He his hates spice, his smell. He hates his face. He hates, hates everything being about around her. the smell. Hates that's that's a big issue. Yeah, hates being around him. Hates his face. Stop it. <laughs> And, like, doesn't want to, like, be with him, like, at all. <laughs> so, yeah, do you think he's the butthole? A little bit. I do think he's the butthole. You can't just I think put it's... stuff in people's food. I think it is uncool of him to put in something that he knows that his girlfriend doesn't like into the food and try to, like, I don't know, have her create an immunity to it. That's such a weird thing. I'm going to condition you to, like spicy food that is a that is a sign of a healthy relationship clara Uh uh-huh if if you don't if your partner does not like something you gotta condition them gotta condition them to like that like like they're like a pavlov's dog you gotta like ring the bell and then their bowels will salivate or something yeah exactly (laughs) that's how you condition them clara so um Let's. So I do think this guy's the butthole. I think it's really uncool of him to do that without your partner, your girlfriend's knowledge. Yeah. And if it also kind of shows that if shows your girlfriend that if you can do that without her knowledge, what else are you capable of doing? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. <coughs> and this person. Okay, let's see what the people writer have to say. Uh, and it quotes that. In quotes, but my girlfriend always been the type to say no, but actually want to do something just because she's no, but actually want to do something just because she's shy, and then po- and then this person responds with a bunch of red flag emojis, and then said, "Ita," which means you're the butthole. Yeah. Another person says, "As a as a spicy, as a fellow spicy food lover, Ita, tampering with her food without her knowledge or consent is creepy." 
paternalistic, inappropriate. Also, Ita for making assumptions about what she should and should not want to eat. You're not her dad. You don't get to tell her that she has to eat spicy foods because you like it. I love spicy foods, but I never force more mild, any more mild husband to eat it. And I certainly wouldn't mess with this food. My mom is very sensitive to spice and makes her sick when she eats it. My dad, who loves spicy foods, would never mess with her food because she loves my mom and respects her boundaries. It sounds like your girlfriend should dump you or because you don't respect your boundaries and have made spicy foods your entire personality. That is true. Right? This guy was like, I only eat spicy food. I can food. only eat spicy food. I don't like anything that isn't spicy. Anything that isn't spicy, get it away from me. Uh, and then he's all like, goes in his bathroom and is like, I wish the Indian Spice Trading com- Company still existed. I no. I wish the Spice Trade still existed. <laughs> I'm going to watch Dune for the 50th time. <laughs> and <then we're laughs> eat my, my curry. My, and my spicy ramen. And there's a jar of <laughs> those, those the natives, get the spices. Oh, I, oh, I was born in the wrong time period. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I, I should have I should have been the one getting the spices. Stop that's it. that's like this is what this guy kind of gives me. Yeah. And I was like, I should have been part of the East Indian I, I company. I should have been spicing it up. Should have been getting all the spices. Killing all those people for the spices. Stop it! That's, that's what he's like saying. No, he, you're pushing it too far. Because he loves the spices. Yeah, he loves the spices, but I don't think he's genuinely interested in killing people over spices. <laughs> it was like back in like the no. 18th century, 18th, 16th century. No. Um, and also, it's like kind of uncool of him to be all like, oh, you're just over-exaggerating. You're right? over-exaggerating. Some people cannot handle their spice. There's people who have geographic tongues. hmm And it makes it really difficult for them to eat spicy foods. Mm-hmm. It makes it really painful. Yeah. So, Aita, I don't understand how you don't understand how wrong this was. You do not put things in people's foods knowing they don't like it or don't want it you are not doing it to help her you did it to help yourself and you wanted to bond over it but she has no interest and has made made it clear that she doesn't want spice um if you oh i think that meant to say you wouldn't you wouldn't be the butthole Mm. If you asked before putting heat in her food, but you didn't ask and you were peeved at her, question mark. Wow. The ga- the gall to be peeved at someone for having a reaction to heat when they didn't know it would have any and didn't enjoy it. So, thumbs down. Thumbs down. And another person says, well, boy. Well, boy. Boy. I'm, I'm living my life without eating spice because it gives me diarrhea. <laughs> that's what it's that's how he it's actually diarrhea. but it, he didn't spell diarrhea right he, <laughs> spi- he spelled it diarrhea <laughs> give me diarrhea <laughs> because what? it gives me diarrhea Dar- and I don't like having diarrhea <laughs> <laughs> do you know consent I said boy I say do, do you know consent? Do you want her to do things to you that you hate without your knowledge? I say, boy, I say, you're the eye hole. <laughs> you don't gaslight your girlfriend by saying she's a shy. <laughs> she knows she wants and what she likes. You should push her to break up with you. Have yeah, you, you seen... should push her to break up with you. Have you seen like that meme, that new meme where they put like foghorn leghorn and various like talking to various like characters and like I, his goofy voice i don't know like, i might have let me let me look let's foghorn leg well don't play anything meme. it's it's not it's oh, not it's just images it's just images okay. it's like just a meme yeah <laughs> um and let me see uh Okay, yeah. Here's the one where he's like talking to um, one of the guys from Full Metal Alchemist, Edward from Full Metal Alchemist, mm-hmm. and he says, "I say, I say, you don't have right to dabble in this here dark chemistry, magic hocus pocus mumbo jumbo, son. <laughs> I say it's okay for your brother Al to do so, but your name is Ed. <laughs> you'll be an alchemist, and you'll be Edchemist." 
doesn't make a look of sense. So look at sense, son. You're hearing what I'm talking about, boy? You ever heard of a full metal alchemist? This boy is as organized as a plate of spaghetti. <laughs> So and it's basically that, but with like other a bunch of other characters yeah. and like situations. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, here's another one where he's just talking to like Crash Bandicoot. Uh, can can we stay on topic, please? Oh yeah. I don't think we've got time for another one. Okay, let's let's move on. Yes. Uh. Okay, Ita for not letting my sister and her kids live in my house. So, uh, I, 25, female, am an electrician. I started my apprenticeship at 17 and was hired immediately by my sponsor after I received my license. The reason I chose a trade was that I grew up in a trailer with my mom and sister and I wanted to own a house since I can remember. And being in the trades gave me access to a stable job and access to more money sooner. My partner, 29, female, Thea, is a plumber and we have scrounged and saved. In the end... We had bought land and built a tiny house in the uptown area of our city. It has two bedrooms and one bathroom. One of the bathrooms is our reptile room. Well, one of the bedrooms is our reptile room as I keep snakes and Thea keeps bearded dragons. We are child-free and happy in our home. My sister, Lucy, 34, female, is a waitress and has three kids, all boys aged two, three, and four. Jeez Louise. Mm. Her husband just left her for a woman my age and she is left without his income to raise all three kids on her own. Her husband bought out her half of the house during the divorce, and that left her and the kids living with my mom in the trailer. I can admit I didn't grow up in the safest of areas and was carrying a knife when I was a teenager because of the danger. Because of the safety issue, Lucy came to Thea and I and begged us to let her sons move in. She said we would have to get rid of our reptiles or keep them in our room. Our sons could have have another bed, could have the other bedroom, and she would sleep in our kitchen on an air mattress. She said nothing about paying us rent or helping us around the house. I told her no because two toddlers and a little kid is about is and, our, and a little kid who was about to start kindergarten isn't suitable to be in our home, and we don't want too many people in our house. She said that we live in the better part of town with better schools, and that she needed the help. I told her we didn't have the room and that I was sorry, but he would hook her. He, but I would hook her up with some journeyman I knew, and she could get started on an apprenticeship that pays better than her current job if she needed extra money. She called my job and Thea's job, blue, <laughs> dirty blue collar trash, and left our home. Jeez, wow. wow! Get off your high horse if you're, you're begging your 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 sibling, dirty blue collar trash job that ended up getting them land and building a house with <coughs> she posted about how we wouldn't let her stay online and now my relatives are messaging me about how can i let a single mother of three kids be homeless how they're your blood and you owe your sister better than that i feel a complete butthole even though uh thea told me i hate i hate every right i hate every right i have every right not to want them in our house, Ita. And then, um, what do you think? More complicated family drama. What do you think? I don't think this person is the butthole. Because I, I think, like, I, I think he's right that his house is not childproofed. Yeah. And there's a lot of, like, reptiles... <laughs> A lot of dangerous things around. Yeah, you can't have three toddlers running around, and there's like a bunch of like a lot of dangerous lot stuff of in dangerous, this really tiny house. Tiny space. In this really tiny house, and I yeah. think also his or his sibling is is being kind of a butthole. His sister being all like, like ah, oh, you're you're <laughs> you're stuffed blue collar trash, huh. and and he and they're the ones living in like an actual house yeah. in the good part of town with their quote their with their what you call blue collar trash <laughs> job. Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay, so you say not the butthole. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll say not the butthole. No, you don't think he's the butthole. 
Um, I do think it was nice of him to offer, yeah. but uh, offer like to help her get more money. But I don't think it was cool of her to be all like, "Duh, I'm oh, I'm above that." Yeah. And then also, let me some, stay in your house. Some people, their pride, it just gets in the way. Mm-hmm. What does Reddit have to say? We have an update first. <gasps> an update. Yeah. Let's listen. After dinner, dinner with my ex Bill, which I think means ex boy brother in law. Mm-hmm. Edit. Yeah. So Thea and I went to dinner with my ex Bill tonight. He brought his laptop and showed us all of the documentation. One. UC Loser used her proceeds from the house to pay for her attorney, even though my ex bill offered to pay timestamped emails to approve it. Two, the woman living with him is his niece, not his mistress, as Lucy claimed. She came uh, to the meeting. They have pictures and phone records showing that she is my ex bill's older sister's daughter. That's really not cool. Mm-hmm. Um, did you hear that, Clarissa? Mm-hmm. Repeat it. Um, the person that Lucy claimed was their ex, his ex, her ex-husband's mistress mm-hmm. is actually his niece. Oh! Ha! And he has documentations to prove it. Uh-huh. Three, Lucy cheated. All three boys aren't his. Oh, wow. And DNA tests show that they have all different dads. So Lucy has been having multiple affairs. Four, the 300 he is spending each month is a goodwill payment for allowing him to be a dad for a few years. Five, Lucy isn't waitressing. She is working for Amway and another company called Sensi's, Sensi and Direct Sales. So she isn't waitressing. Mm-hmm. Uh, six, Lucy won't do an apprenticeship because it doesn't fall under traditional gender roles. Wow. Huh? Posts in a, on a second social media account. Seven. Lucy has made homophobic posts on social media about me and my wife. Wow. And blocked us so we didn't see them. See them. Wow. In the end, Etika, what to think? Yeah, don't let this person in your house. No. This guy, this lady stinks. Um, I think your gut feeling was right. I think this person stinks. Don't put him in your house. Um, because. Yeah. Uh, she made her bed and she needs to lay in it. Um, especially if she's being super homophobic and like straight up being a butthole to, to her ex-husband and then having an affair with, with him, with three other guys, having children with three other guys and then having him think that it's his children and then going around telling people that his niece is actually his mistress. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Even though that's not true, which I think is kind of messed up. It's very messed up. I think that's not cool. Two thumbs down. Yep. So definitely not the butthole. Definitely not the butthole. Don't let this person in your house um, because they she will 100% take advantage of you. Yep. And she yeah they also said that she, she wasn't going to pay any rent. Mm-hmm. What does Reddit have to, have to say okay. knowing this new information? If your sister's ex bought her out, her out of the house... What did she do with that money? She should have gotten an apartment. And she said that she used that money to to get an attorney. So. Mm-hmm. And then OP says, I have no clue what she did with it. I didn't ask because money talk is a sore spot for both of us. Well, she knows who what happened, what she did now. Gata, you should be proud of the great life and the great job you have with Thea and your pets. Seriously, good for you. I am not saying this at all in a condescending way. I'm generally cheering you on. It wasn't an ah move to ask her to for her to ask, but it sure was of her to insult every respectable careers, your very respectable careers, <coughs> and ask you to get rid of your lovely pets. Very rude. She could have a respectable trade, making a good deal of money, but she threw that in your face and insulted you. Nata. Also, if your husband bought her out, why isn't she having a tiny house belt? And then OP responds with, I did ask her that. I told her I'd do all of the installation work for free, and Thea offered to do her plumbing for free as well. And she turned us down. She also doesn't think our house is satisfying and told us she wished we got a bigger more she we got a mortgage and bought a bigger one instead of a building. It was an entire argument back when we bought materials and built it. And she and her ex were still married. 
Mm-hmm. So, I think that was pretty good. It's mm-hmm. better to build a house so you wouldn't have to be paying it off for 30 years. Yeah, well, how, well do that these days? how dare you? Mm, just how dare you? The job market is amazing. The house market the house is amazing, market and it will never, amazing. it'll never, mm-hmm. it'll never burst. Mm-hmm. So, uh, another person says, "Well, message every single one saying you should have let her stay. <coughs> that you will let her know their place is available." Two bedrooms is way too small for those people. She is 34. She needs to figure things out. She needs to get a job. I'm sure she's getting child support too. What did she do with the money that she got from a buyout? I'm assuming she has started custody. And um, careful those 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 turn on when you when you open them, so it'll drain the battery if you do that. Let me see. Uh, I'm assuming she is shared custody and doesn't have kids all the time. Doesn't have the kids all the time. She should be working two jobs then. She should have a part-time job when the kids are gone as well as a full-time job. If you let her in, she will never leave. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. So that's definitely not the butthole. Her sister is the butthole, though. The sister is the butthole, for sure. Okay, moving on. Yep. Except for evicting my brother and his family from the house I have inherited so my daughter can live there. Okay. I, I, 40, female, have a daughter, Caroline, 17, female. My brother, Adam, 34, male, is married and has two kids under the age of five. Back when I was in my 20s, our great-grandmother ended up with an illness which required someone to take care of her. This ended up being me as everyone else is busy with their lives and I have only I have only recently graduated from university back then. Due to this, uh, when she passed away, I've inherited the house she lived in, which is a small two bedroom. I have lived there until I got married and me and my husband ended up moving to a bigger property. About a year later, my brother asked if I'm res- if I'm willing to rent it to him, which I agreed to do. But have warned him I will need it back when Caroline turns 18. She was three at the time, since it was very close to universities and city center. Legal agreement was drafted for the rent significantly below market value, so everything was followed by the book. About a year ago, I informed my brother about needing the house back as my daughter is about to be 18, and I was like, and I would like to have some repairs done before she moves in. My brother ignored me, so I have issued him a notice to vacate, which was also ignored. As he continued to ignore me, I had no choice but to apply a court order to evict him, with hearing with a hearing taking place last month. Last week, him and his family were officially evicted. Upon getting into the house, I have noticed it I know I've noticed it was in her- horrible condition, and it would take a few months just to make it somewhat hab- ha- habitable, let alone do redecorating or repairs. I have raised this with my brother since he was meant to look after the house and let me know of any repairs, but this talk ended up in an argument where I was called a butthole for evicting him, evicting him and his family, so my spo- "quote unquote" spoiled daughter can live by herself and not having them give, giving them enough notice. They had oh, just over a year to find something suitable. He also said I have inherited the house by "quote unquote" cheating. What? My parents are on his side since Adam and his family live with him. What do you think? Oh. I don't know. I mean, obviously, you want... Like, if you have a property that, like, you can give to house your child, obviously, you would want to do that. Uh Uh-huh. Right? I mean, I don't know. I do think that OP is not the butthole. I don't think so either. I mean, she gave them ample time. Is it she? Yeah. Yeah. She gave them ample time. Also, she did say straight up from the jump, like, dude, like, we need I'm, this back when she turns 18. Yes, this, she, she will have this when she turns 18. And... And they they had fifteen years of them knowing about this, and per a lot of time. Yeah, and when the time, when the time came, 
they would be like, I'm just going to ignore it. That's not good. And then you forced her hand, and also you also kind of trashed the place, which yeah, wasn't cool. Yeah, that's not cool. And then you're going around complaining to everyone, calling your, calling your daughter spoiled. That's not cool. Because, like, geez, like, she, she's going to college. She's going to need to live on her own eventually. And, like, she it was, she's going to live... She's going to need to live on her own during that time. Yeah. So, I think that's not... I think that was kind of a, a like, it's not spoiled. No. So, that's, I think it's also kind of a butthole thing to do to just, like, try to ignore everything. So, let's see. Nata, he's lived there for roughly 14 to 15 years, paying substantially below market rent prices, which should have allowed him to have considerable sum to put towards a home of his own. He clearly chose not to, as he had to move in with your parents. His life choices are not your problem. Regarding the state of the home, did you not visit him over the years? Notice the deterioration, or is it their revenge damage caused shortly before they moved? And then OP responds with, A bit of both, really, as well as never placed furniture. As clever placed furniture, so it wasn't noticeable up until now. Wow. <coughs> yeah, that wasn't nice. Not at all. Nata! But I don't know why you're raising the issue of repairs when you evicted him. That sibling relationship is clearly fractured, and I don't know what you're expecting to get from any conversation. And then OP responds with, According to the rent agreement, he was meant to keep the house in good condition and inform me if anything needs to get done so I can get it fixed. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like this person needs to go to, to court, needs to get, to, to get the sewing done. Unfortunately... Uh, Okay, so another person says, so Adam has no ha, uh, has known he had to move since your daughter was three, and now she's 17. So what's your math problem? So that's a math problem. Math tells us that Adam has known for 14 years that he would have to move out of your house. In what Looney Tunes world is that not enough notice? Curious, was Adam's just lazy and let the house fall into disrepair, or did he trash the house intentionally because you evicted him? And then OP said that it was a bit of both. So, yeah, this person's definitely not the butthole. I think. Nope. Uh, she did everything she could, and everything was agreed upon. Everything is there, black and white. But brother Adam decided that he doesn't want. To, he didn't want to do that, and didn't and stick. Didn't put in his end of the deal. And they got all mad about it when, like, the actual deal started, when it was time that the deal needed to be enforced. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This, this person is definitely not the butthole. She did, this person did everything they were supposed to do. So, yeah. Two thumbs down. Two thumbs down. All right. So, who do you think was the biggest butthole today? Um, <laughs> the sister from that one. No, I know that that doesn't count. Uh-huh. Um, I would say, I mean, it, there there were two big ones. Personally, I think it's the guy who tried to poison his girlfriend with spicy food. <laughs> you don't think it was the incel who hates women? No, because he's literally just ranting on the internet. This guy legit... <laughs> was poisoning, putting stuff in his girlfriend's, his girlfriend's food girlfriend without her noticing without her knowing i got all mad about it when she figured it out and she realized yeah and, okay so that guy is definitely the butthole biggest butthole today i'd say that guy's the biggest butthole today okay well that's it for today i've been nathaniel avila and i have been clara avila Bye. Bye. thank you for listening to a vision podcast home of wacky talkies the kingdom evil exists and many more